to the part where eventually kind of everybody kind of just went their own way and kind of just left it alone everybody just kind of did their own thing for a minute and went their own direction so speak on your transition like once head shots was finally over with and you and everybody it wasn't, went there. It wasn't me it wasn't really over it was over but I wasn't trying to that shit cause I was trying to hold on that shit for my whole life because it was some good days for me you feel me so it came to a point where me and Bob had was you know what I'm saying and that's like bro you know what I'm saying and we he taking too long to drop a CD. Like, I dropped my own. I dropped my own headshot CD. You feel me? Like I ain't like, asking for what music to put on here. Yada yada. I dropped my own joint. And we had all the music. He was like, "Damn, bro, how you gonna do that? I'm like, you moving too slow, bro. You moving too slow. I learned how to do that shit a little bit, and I did that shit. And then this nigga come right behind me, drop the same volume. Like it was like it was like seventy nine. I dropped headshot seventy nine. This nigga dropped headshot seventy nine. <laughs> So that shit was like getting messy, you feel me? Like, whoa, like, like that's that. I got my own CD on there, say no more volume one. I tried to, I tried to break it for myself and do that shit for myself. I was shooting a DVD by myself and all that before, bro. I got some footage from, all, from niggas all over the city, but it just wasn't there, man. Like, like niggas think you can do that shit by your, any of this shit by yourself, bro. You can't. You need to push. You need to, you need a good team around you. It's not always about you and the time that you got. I mean, you need, you need motherfuckers working with you. Everybody got this different type of, you know what I'm saying, benefits that you, you know what I'm saying, bring to the table. Now the, 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 the shit was gone, bro. The momentum, mm. that shit was dead. That shit was dead. Mm. I couldn't, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't do it. Bob, yeah, yeah. obviously he couldn't do it. And everybody just fell back. What? They started living their lives. 
Meek went straight to the top. Head got booked. Yo. Uh, what? You know who started grinding hard as shit though after all that shit fell? Fucking D Jones. D Jones started grinding hard as shit after the shit died. Like, you know what I'm saying? We had that nigga, we had that nigga on a tear shot. One here, one of the best verses on there with the snap and shit. And uh, we was trying to push him to go harder and he wouldn't. He wants to hear shot shit die. This nigga just, just start grinding hard as shit. Mixtape after mixtape, like, you know what I'm saying? Got a little movement called a lot of life. I think that's what it's called, life is. Whatever, yeah, that nigga started grinding hard as shit. He came out of the shadows and shit. I was out of it. He used to call me, like, Ben helped me, and he called Bob, like, Bob helped us. I was going, everything was going, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, after Meek left, Meek was like the fucking, nigga probably will never admit it, like, the stick to the heart. That was the momentum. Yeah. He killed everything. That's like that's like that's like that's like when the Sixers trade the AI. We, we was done with him. You know what I'm like? Oh, all right. We still got a little bit of hope. And this shit was like you just watch that shit one through there. Like swore everybody swore the dollars gonna be able to carry the throne. It's like I, I would say Beretta was in the dollar. We thought Beretta would be able to do it. <laughs> and that shit wasn't. It wasn't me. Okay. You know all right. So yeah, a couple years went past. Nah, I mean, after that situation, after everybody kind of finally, like, left it alone for a minute. And then a couple years ago, I would say, like, 2014, I seen you start pushing the ball PNB Rock. Now, I never heard of you before this, <laughs> but I followed you because, you know, we folks from the whole headshot yeah, way. So I'm, so I'm following you on the gram, and I'm seeing you post, I think, this around the time R&B 1 probably or something, something like that. Something along those lines. But I remember you posting something about him, like, yeah, this going to be the new ball. This the new ball. It's the new ball. So I'm, I'm, I'm peeping this stuff you post, and so I'm like, all right, cool. And then soon, like, like not even... No long after that, you start really seeing stuff pick up, stuff pick up, and then a little bit after that, that's when he came with the joint, um, My City Needs Something, mm -hmm. and that's when he really kind of, like, took off in Philly, so, get him that whole rundown, like, what was your relationship, because, like, we just had PNB me, like, he just walked off or something, but, like, you know, that's PNB Rock Brother, so, yeah. like, well, how y'all all link up and all that? It's like, uh, Woody, Woody inspired me to be like, I was, what I was doing was, I was sitting back, I was living life, I had a daughter, I just had a little girl and shit. I was just grinding and shit, trying to take care of my family. Like, just watching music from a distance. And I saw, and I saw, and I saw Bob pushing, uh, pushing feet. And he was pushing, pushing feet. And I'm looking like, man, Bob shot, man, I ain't nothing to do no man. Hold on, me find me somebody to push and shit. So I, I used to just start doing research on niggas. So you got to shout out, shout out to P and B Chiz. That's how I ran across the nigga, P and B rap. So this nigga tear my DM up. He, I guess nigga had, I mean, faith that like, you know what I'm saying? He was already rapping I, where he was from. He was already doing his thing, but I guess he was admiring the work we put in and he probably knew I could help him give him that push. So he tearing my DM up. Yo, listen to my tape, bro. Listen to my tape. I ain't knowing this shit. This is another nigga in my DM. HU2. What is it? 2 with the yellow shit? 2. Yeah, HU2. He tearing that shit up. Yo, listen, 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 listen. One day I'm bored 4 o'clock in the morning on some drunk shit. Let me listen to HU2. I listen to HU2. This nigga actually can rap a little bit. So I'm listening. Man, this shit, alright. This shit ain't corny. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it can get touched up, but. So then I run across a, a song Rock was on. So I hear Rock shit. Damn, fuck. I'm thinking it's Chiz, though. I ain't even gonna lie. I thought it was Chiz. So I throw it up. I quote the shit, throw it up. Yeah, PNB Chiz, you got some shit. So PNB Chiz. A real nigga shit, he came in and said, yo, bro, that's not even my shit. That's at PNB Rock. Like, oh, shit, the fuck, who the fuck is PNB Rock? I go to click on this nigga page, little scruffy-ass nigga, 1,100 followers. Who the fuck is this dude, right? He's <laughs> a skinny-ass, light-skinned nigga. He said, I'm meeting and shit. I was like, I'm going to help y'all niggas, man. I didn't even, I didn't even know it. Went in with the intention to make a dime with rock or off rock. I just came in. I saw the niggas hustling. They was all down every fucking music festivals and shit like A3C, South by Southwest on their own, but nobody knew them in Philly. And I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna give y'all a uh and see what y'all can do. So I'm gonna stamp y'all a little bit and say y'all official and, and y'all can take it from there and shit. So uh what eventually happened was uh we wanna we link up, me and Chiz come to understand what we're gonna do. I'm like, we're gonna put a tape out. He like, well, I got a tape already. So my shit already bubbling, he had that shit all over that piff had a little three thousand them or whatever. He's like, well, my man ain't got, he ain't really got like two songs. Like, we're gonna push him first. So I'm like, all right. I just, I basically just 
I dropped the money on the studio time. I helped the nigga get down there when he did. I helped the nigga get down there to the studio and all that. He was off at that time. Like whenever he needed a ride or you know what I'm saying. I really, that first, that R&B one was him. You feel me? Like that shit was raw and shit he had. And when he bought it, when he dropped that shit and he bought it to me, like I was in some of the sessions when, when the way he put it together, I'm like, oh, this boy's special. This boy's special. I had uh, I hollered at my man, my partner now in New Land, MF Love. I guess we're going to meet him in a second. I hollered at him, like, yo, listen to this shit. He was talking some gel shit, some street, some street shit, but on the other side, that shit was like, dang it. So, Mike look at me and say, man, what the fuck is you talking about? This nigga's a star. I'm like, a star? Nah, he nice. He told us star. Hold on, we gonna turn him into a star. Like, bro, listen. I saw a scruffy kid. He saw a star. So shout out to the Love. You know I'm saying he saw it. I saw it. I saw the. I saw the, the, the talent. It was there. But the driving and that, that boy, the driving rock, rock wanted that shit, bro. He ain't wanted, but he wanted it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like he was gifted. You see what I'm saying? Like, this shit was like that's the point. So, all right. So, so after after the, after the RB one drop, boom. It's RB two. But I, I just peeped the tunage that he needed, like, on certain topics and shit. You know, he was a street nigga, right? I ain't no niggas with a misconception that he's soft and all that shit. No, far from it. He wanted to just be hard as shit. So I'm like, bro, no. You got, you got to talk to these bitches. So we get in to talk to the bitches. I get in to talk to the bitches on Hit Me Up. He smoke Hit Me Up. Niggas sleep on Hit Me Up. Hit Me Up could have been a fucking national hit. You know what I'm saying? And once I see that, I'm like, this nigga versatile as shit. So, so me and my challenging my, my, my uh, shout out to Rican Boy. Rican Boy had just got shot up and shit. You know Rican Boy, right? Rican mm-hmm. Boy had just got shot up. And yeah, we really fuck with Rican Boy. It was a friend of ours to come to party with us, drink with us, you know, a little bar called Galaxy. You know what I'm saying? He come show his love every week. And, and that shit like hit, cause that was like hit kind of home. So we called Rock, like, yo, this, this, this is a, and mind you, right, right before Rican Boy got hit up, a nigga got killed. The, a friend of ours at the fucking bar or outside of the bar. So, I'm like, Rock, won't you, uh, won't you talk about, uh, like stopping this violence, all this bullshit that's going on? You know, he, he wasn't trying to hear that shit. Like, I, I, I know it's fucked up with having a region, what you know, but like, I, don't, I don't think I could do that. Like, I'll just try, nigga. So, the first thing he did was, he came with the hook. And he came with the hook. And that was going crazy. Like, oh shit, he didn't even do the verse. So I did back then, that's when you was you sing the hook on, on Instagram and you just put that shit up and see they invited. He bit it. This shit came from posted out all over the place. The whole the, 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 the chorus to, to my city and east side back then it was only 30 seconds. It was like 15 seconds you get the same on Instagram. And that shit was bubble. So now we call this nigga like, oh no, you gotta do verses. You gotta do verses. You gotta do verses, bro. Fuck what you talking about. You gotta do verses. The nigga did the verses. He killed that motherfucker. So that song touched so many people, bro. I mean, we did shows, bro. I saw sixty-year-old women crying, bro, after they heard that boy singing the song. Man, that shit. That shit was like a. That shit was like that was groundbreaking for him. See that open the door. People killing people over nothing. I swear it's like every day I wake up, man. I hear something like. I miss my brother. Rest in peace, my head. Man, they took my sister. I swear we need something different, but I don't know what it is. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, snuck us in. Even though we, 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 was, on, we, was, on, we was on the way to shut down fully anyway, because he was different. The nigga's sound was unique. You know what I'm saying? And he was still talking that shit that we wanted to hear. He was going to do. See, most of the niggas that I came through up with the hair shot shit, even with me, when Meek was back there, right? It was hard to get them to talk to the bitches. Nobody never wanted to talk to the bitches. Not even you. Not even your brother. No, y'all never talked to the bitches. And these niggas, and, and he he started talking to them bitches. And that shit just started falling apart. He put a nigga song, bitch song, nigga song, bitch song. And he just scraped the whole Philly. We was gonna get him, but once he dropped my city Nissan, bro, that shit just changed everything. My city Nissan opened that door. We got in. Had a couple niggas listening. A couple phone calls got made. Actually, you know, I'm sitting at Atlantic Records. Like, damn, that shit ain't hit me. That shit probably really still ain't hit me because I'm still a regular nigga in the hood. They be like, why the fuck you keep hanging around? Nigga, we get on the airplanes every other day. That shit still ain't really hit me yet, though. I 
I'm a little heavy, so this nigga want to grab me, so I feel like I might cry. I'm mean, gonna shit. Right. Yeah, that's how the uh, KB Rock shit started. Alright, so here we are today. You know, we just did the um the event at Discovery Charter High School. I mean, performed PNB Me, PNB Rock. Was, I mean, they did the Everyday We Lit John, gave out some book bags and we stuff. Gave out, nigga, we gave out a book bag to every student in Discovery Charter School. Every student in Discovery Charter School got, got a book bag in Moonlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Never, never told some niggas like us to be in position to do some shit like that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but now this, this, this where we at right now. Rock out three platinum plaques. How about that? All right, all right. Nigga, nigga, I don't know how many platinum plaques nigga Meek Mill got. You know what I'm saying? And the craziest thing is the only thing they got in common is what they from Philly and what else? You ask this nigga? Yeah. <laughs> no, they, no, no. They real niggas type of fucking thing. Only thing Rock and Meek Mill got in common is they from Philly and he was associated with me at one point in time. Like, you feel me? That's how I look at it. <laughs> That's how I look at it. This is, it's the only thing though, right? You know how y'all come up. Like, y'all. So you the common denominator. No, I'm just saying, I got an eye for talent. That's how I know he's next. This nigga on fire right now. He playing around. He got his shit together right now. That's right now though. You know, this nigga. He a liability. <laughs> but this nigga, this nigga right here next, this nigga special. And that's what we doing right now. My story, I don't know when it's dropping. That shit was dropping. January 16th. January 16th. Oh, my birthday. January 16th, my story, I'm doing his ass. I'm rocking with him right now. That's an exclusive, too. Yeah, yeah, that's exclusive. I ain't tell nobody else. Nigga, I feel like he gonna be on my ass. I feel like this shit. Right. All y'all graphics niggas, jump in my DM now. This nigga gonna be drawing. So once he set a date and his mom or something, he. Yeah, I'm fucking with him. I'm fucking with a couple other niggas in the city too. I'm fucking the nigga lights. I fuck with lights. I fuck with the that nigga. Mama Cinco. I fuck with Ray Moon. These are all the young motherfuckers we are fucking with. I fuck with lights. I said lights, Ray Moon, Mama Cinco, Caliber. I fuck my nigga Gibbs. Who you fuck with me? Who you think? I fuck with lights. You know what I'm saying I fuck with. I fuck with Drew Muir. Right? Oh my God, that nigga. Yeah. In his lane. Like nobody make beats better than right now. I don't know. I, I think it's a tie between him and that nigga audio, audio jack. I got a million audio jack shit. But that other that 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 that, that, that shit I posted with with, with Drew on that is good, man. But who you fuck with though? It's a lot of niggas coming up. You know what I'm saying like butter knife lights. Butter knife. Uh, drama. Uh, you know, young boy Rico had. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Pop. Pelosi. That's really about it. Rest in peace, society. Mm-hmm. About chicks. I fuck with Lean Bean. I fuck with Lean Bean. I fuck with Bella. Girl wise, I fuck with Bella. Bella Bean. Yeah, yeah, flawless. Yeah, yeah, flawless. It's a whole lot of talent in Philly, man. I know. I'm ready to bust this shit open, man. I ain't gonna keep playing. It's a whole lot. Listen, bro. shout out to my dude himself, niggas Nizzy Straws. Can't forget him. Yeah, yeah. the little Nizzy. Yeah, can't forget the little Nizzy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a lot of shit in here. We ready to bust this shit open, man. I'm tired of playing with them. They, they let me in. Yeah, that a real nigga in. You know what I'm saying? I got some some some, some good help around me. You know what I'm saying? My nigga's in position. My nigga, my partner, my, he, 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 he didn't know the game like the back of his hand now. He do all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still behind the scenes, boy, though. Y'all probably see him way more than y'all see me. I'm still I'm still the same nigga. I don't need to be in the line right to make shit work. You know what I'm saying? I need to tell you, you can lock in that booth. I can be in there for hours. But y'all gonna see on January 16th with his shit. He gonna start it off. Me start the revolution. This show, uh, he's starting a revolution. January 16th, we put each other on his back. Mm -hmm. November the 17th, catch these vibes, PNB rock, game changer. He already, he don't even count, but he's, he don't even count them anymore. He's a nigga star. But we jumped on his back. He started a revolution January 16th, that's when it's gonna start. And we following that shit up and still. We're gonna open the door with Philly, we're gonna see what you niggas do. See how you niggas at. All right, plug your app. You know people gonna be getting at you with that being said. We about to open it up. I know you just putting post up saying you about to start looking for new talent. Saying what's up. So uh, how can people get at you? You know what I mean? Hey, plug them. They just get at me. You can hit, basically hit me on the gram, email me, whatever. I already picked out like six niggas. I'm, I'm going there. All right, all right. So after I, I've got, cause you know they really gonna come after I show that. After this nigga CD do fucking super numbers, then nigga ain't gonna be able to tell me shit. So I already got like five people. I ain't gotta say their names, none of that, cause I don't nobody saying, yo, damn, we we came from nothing. I don't wanna hear none of that shit. I already picked the people I wanna fuck with, and I'm gonna broadcast their talent. 
And I'm sure my fucking I really know what I'm doing. Like you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm the one. I got a, I got an ear for this shit, this music shit. So watch, just, just pay attention to New Lane Entertainment at the January 16th. He he already that shit already etched in stone. This nigga, this nigga going already. He don't even dig it, but he's starting to. But you know what I'm saying. He gonna start the revolution off. I'm gonna follow up with another project from somebody else, another project from somebody else. Then hopefully by 19, by January 2019, I'm trying to have a motherfucking office of this bitch. Fucking official distribution deal. They give us, give me 10, 15 million. I'm sitting in Philly, you know what I'm saying? Oh, save some of these motherfuckers' lives, man. You feel me? Um. All right, man, we signing out, man. Bam, say no more, man. PNB yeah, main, new lane entertainment. Shout out to Fully Fame TV, man. I appreciate y'all for having me. Let me tell my shit, man. Just tune in. Stay, 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 stay caught up with anything I'm doing. All I'm trying to do is help a motherfucker, help a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So, help me help you. All right. All right.